Trade Deadline Frenzy brought to you by Breckenridge Brewery from the DNVR Avalanche Squad. Talking about our first defenseman, and it's a Philadelphia Flyer, not the big name Philadelphia Flyer. Is that's a Keith forward. Yandel? Oh, man. We should do a whole video about Keith Yandel saying thank you to his goaltenders, by the way. It's the best thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's very polite. <laughs> it's really wholesome. I liked that video. Yeah. Now I feel silly for having liked it. <laughs> I think it's great, too. I, I love it. <laughs> not who we're talking about. We're talking about Justin Braun. <sighs> not talking about Rasmus Ristolainen either. Oh, my Jeez. goodness. Uh, what does it say when a team's entire defense is for sale? <laughs> a, a team that had a really good defense a couple years ago, and yeah. it's like none of those guys are left. <laughs> is Provorov's yeah, the only Provorov's one? Provorov's looking around like, man, remember when I got drafted and this was fun? It's the Will Smith gif. Yeah. <laughs> But Justin Braun, uh, a quality, going to be a defensive first D, certainly for the Avalanche. But especially when you start to look at the quality of competition he goes against in Philadelphia every night, can bring pretty decent decent set of skills to the Avalanche. Well, I think I think when you're talking about Justin Braun, you're talking about a guy with enough puck skill to fit. Yep. Uh, this is not your totally one-sided can't give you offense at all and yep. any offense that he does give you is him clearing a puck off of a wall where <laughs> two guys do something dope on the other end. Call it what it is. Secondary he's not Jack Johnson. Call it what it is. Okay. He's not Jack Johnson. <laughs> uh, he can actually help you a little bit with, with the puck but that's not what you're getting him for. It's just a boon. He's right handed right. so that also helps you a little bit there. Um, just it guards against an Eric Johnson injury. It guards against, uh, you know, if, if you really wanted to, you could put him next to a Sam Gerrard on your second pairing. Uh, and you would feel much better about Justin Braun taking on that kind of comp competition yeah. than you do Jack Johnson right now. Because right now, Jack Johnson's getting overplayed and... And is drowning when he gets overplayed. You, well, and, and like, you have the games where he's fine. Yep, but then right. when you have the bad games, it's a disaster. You're really getting run and you don't have an answer for that right now. You know, with well, on the day that we're recording this, the Bowen Byram question lingers. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that makes a guy like Justin Braun and the versatility and you ideally play him on your third pairing, but he would be an immediate upgrade over both Eric Johnson and both Jack Johnson as a immediate band-aid on your second pairing next to Sam Gerrard. Some stability that you could put there. I wasn't going to compare him to Jack Johnson. I was going to more of say, this isn't the Patrick Nemeth deal last year where you're bringing him in to be defensive defenseman and everything you that you said there off the top was, well, but if he contributes anything, great. This isn't a black hole of yeah. offense. Um, obviously, you know, four goals for 13 points this year. It's not prolific defensive no, and, and like numbers. It's not why you're getting him. No, no, it's no, no, no. just one extra little thing about him that you aren't for, worrying about. For a about. team that, that runs so much of its offense through its defense, you just you want to know you that they have a guys, level of competency in the offense. You need guys that can zone. handle so, right, right, You right. need them. <laughs> I actually like the contrast between Patrick Nemeth here because Patrick Nemeth was a defender who gets very high event run up against him. He's, he plays when the other team has the puck. That's when Patrick Nemeth is going to do most of his yeah, work. Net front yeah. and defending defending the hard areas and he's physical and blah, 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 blah. And we've seen Patrick Nemeth also ran into the wall and has completely yep. fallen apart and, as an NHL player. And Justin Braun defensively is very much more the guy that helps you stop teams at the blue line. Yeah. Nothing happens when he's on the ice. It's right. low event, boring hockey. Prototypical third pairing defensive defenseman, really. Well, I was going to say, and, and it's cliche and all that stuff, but this really does seem uh, like a playoff defenseman, right? That when you get into those later series and. Yeah, and, the rugged. Right, yeah. Like, and, and things are not, getting. He's not like a physical monster, right? Like right. He's. He's, it's not like Frankenstein's monster got unleashed and he's going after an entire town of people <laughs> or anything. You're not worrying about the guy, but like he can hold his own. He's comfortable in that environment mm -hmm. after a career of making playoff runs. Right. So an interesting conversation when it comes to price here for Justin Braun, because individually probably shouldn't be very expensive. Honestly, if Philadelphia called and said, we want Drew Hellison for Justin Braun straight up, 
I would probably It'd be pretty hard to say no to that. I would I, I would probably say no, but I think you're getting into that kind of conversation yeah. where uh, we we did the prospect show and Drew Hellison was fourth or fifth ish yeah. best prospect for the Evs. Um and it's really just like replacing ideally J- J- Drew Hellison becomes Justin, Justin Braun, Braun. Yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> Has Justin Braun's career <laughs> yeah. like that's be- well, probably best case scenario for Drew Ellison, and you're and you're just getting it for this Cup run and instead of the yep. Cup run in yeah five years, right? Yeah, and instead of trying I, to instead of trying to usher in an, an, yeah. another wave, right? Where this conversation gets interesting is is he part of a bigger package with Philadelphia? Uh, I mean, without getting too much into into that room because That's we've got that video money. coming. Everyone knows we're talking about Claude Giroux. Yeah. For the record. <laughs> it's a lot of money. But I mean, like, look, if, if you're Joe Sackick and let's say you go through the phone calls with Chuck Fletcher and you get to a, a point where you've got basic framework agreed on a Claude Giroux deal. You just I, add it in. I, I, I would be blown away if Joe Sackick didn't say, great, I'm really looking forward to getting that done. What do you think about adding this in? What w- what would that take to just add this on? Because look, we all think that they're gonna, whether it be big swing for the fence or filling in around the fringes, we yeah. all think that they're gonna probably add in all three positions, right? Forward, defense, and goaltender. Certainly forward and defense. <laughs> I, I, I would be really surprised if they didn't go out and get a third goalie. But I would. Um. Regardless. If you're Joe Sackick, it it wouldn't make any sense to at least not say, "Can we just get this done in one foul swoop?" Get them both in here. We're done with one phone call. We move our assets to one team out east, mm-hmm. and and we get everything that we need back. You know, Claude Giroux and Justin Braun get to come with someone that they're a little bit familiar with that they've shared the locker room with now for a couple of years. Buddy system, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody has an account accountability buddy, <laughs> and uh, so mm-hmm. if if they can if they get to that point with Giroux. I would be blown away if Justin Braun's name wasn't at least brought up in terms of what would it take for us to add this on as well? Make it a combo meal. Yeah, I, I wonder if you're looking for a, a roster-wise a straight strap swap of Comfer and like Ryan Murray going back the other way for money, and then obviously all the other assets to to make the deal work. Yeah, but should be certainly a conversation that you shouldn't discount. Murray would make a lot of sense I think it because makes a ton of sense, dude. It really like replaces that role and then like that puts Ryan Murray in a position next year. Like gives Philly go earn an a opportunity deal or something, to be like, yeah. Hey, like maybe we want to take a look at Ryan Murray as one of our as like a veteran guy that that can be on our cuz they they're going to need guys on defense next right. year. Yep. So, so, you know, you're talking – that would make – Ryan Murray would make a lot more sense than JT Confer just because JT Confer, they've got four of already. <laughs> <laughs> they've, got, they've got a ton of those kinds of guys in their forward core already. I was going to say, J- JT Confer does seem like a flyer, though. So it makes oh, yeah, sense. he does. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got that little pest in him. He, and, he yeah. and Cam York could have a pretty dope ginger off, Ooh, though. Ooh, true. The, you're getting a ginger in Drew. You got to send a ginger back. Yeah, that's right. just that's yeah, just yeah, the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't make them. All right. So it's it's now we've now built part of the deal. It's comfort. <laughs> it's comfort to 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 meet the ginger rules. Yeah. yeah. And it's and it's Murray because you need a defenseman. Uh, makes a lot back. of makes yeah. a lot of sense for everybody involved. Yeah. Okay. And then other things. So, <laughs> since we're 100 percent confident that everyone in the abs front office is watching this series, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's going to wrap up this video. We have another defenseman coming up, not from Philly, but still coming from out east. So be sure to tune into the next video whenever it's live, which could be right now if you're watching the whole playlist. So we'll talk to you in like 10 seconds.